You know, and with low hanging fruit, nine, the 96 unit that I bought, that, that's a property that the rents were literally just under market. We haven't, we've had one remodel there, but we've been raising rents like tw like 20% and no one's even, like we've only, like we've had like 20 to 25% really increases. I mean, they've gone from an average of 687. So literally we've had people that have re-signed, their, their rent was like 660 and they re-signed for 775 because they go anywhere else and 775 is still a monster deal here, right? And so like they, so they're, so, so sometimes there's still low hanging fruit. We have, there's, we have select units that do have in unit and we've added. So we're kind of testing that right now. We, we've added a couple where let's see how we come out. Let's see how much more appealing it is. Um, but we don't, you know, we haven't added any. I mean, yeah, we charge for our common area laundry. We make sure that that's at a competitive price. We, right now we subcontracted out, um, at all of our properties except for one property and so I'll, it's kind of going to be interesting because we haven't taken it on in-house again for a little while um so we'll kind of see where we're at and see what if it's worth it or not i mean the nice thing when you contract it out you get all new machines it, the maintenance on them like you don't even have to deal with it which for us is good you know this could change once we get to more stabilized assets potentially but like for us it's almost a good thing right now because we have so much shit going on with our our guys doing the the, the rehabs and like just general maintenance right now that if a laundry thing busted and broke like you know um so in our splits i've been able to negotiate you know i don't know better splits than most people i think but i think we're in between 60 and 70 percent of the revenue we get which typically you see 50 50 um if you don't negotiate back on them um so you know, and for them, when something breaks, there's a number right on there. They got they got pretty high tech machines where our tenants can use their phone and their app, and that's a big that's a big play when it comes to you know literally they get a text on their phone when their laundry's done. It tells them how much time's left, so so they can go in there right away when it's done. And our tenants really that's been a big selling point. So it's like sometimes some of that stuff's hard to see. Like, is it worth the value? Is it not? But um, so for those first ones, and I was younger, like those first ones, like he had to be able to sign the docs, and he had okay like a loan above. You know, if we were gonna get more out, he had certain things above certain thresholds. He's since signed over everything to me, where it's like he doesn't even. He's like, did you read these docs? I say, yep. Like, you know, our us and our attorneys did. And so, it, you know, the relationship's been dynamic and it's changed with as he's seen the result. You know, and he, you know, and and all that stuff. And then there's a lot of trust there with. You know, we've been doing business together now for six, seven years. We're involved with another company with him. That's a huge company. So. I, 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 I can't, I wouldn't change anything because I've learned so much through the mistakes that we've made. Like, I, I really wouldn't, I, there's nothing that I would really change. Um, I wish I would have, I wish that I would have bought, if I would have bought every deal I looked at from 2012 to 2015, it wouldn't even have mattered. If I would have found a way to buy, I would have, because of just the macro environment, you couldn't have gone wrong, right? So I guess that's yeah, one thing. Fair enough appreciation. Yeah, but like, is that always going to be around and always be like that? I don't know. Um, you know, and I, I just wish, I, I don't know, I don't really have any. I mean, you guys that have followed me a lot or on my Instagram and stuff, you can go way back to where there was four. You know, like, so you've kind of seen it, and I've, I've just been able to learn so much doing it the way that it's happened, and it's kind of meant to happen the way that it's happened. So I don't personally regret really anything. Yeah, and I mean, like, we're getting to the point where, like, you get to a point, I think, where you, you have options, right? And it's like you need to have different arms if you want to do it. I mean, you know, so I look at the things that are the most stable, and that's what we'd start biting off next. Um, and the things that are most stable, you know, like, so you have the, le the leasing and the maintenance, right? That's pretty stable, right? So can you create another arm there? Yeah, absolutely. Should you? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, you know, it just kind of depends. Like, for us, we've talked about it. Like, we see how much we're spending on paint. We can pretty much know every year, like based on our turnover and you know, all that stuff, what we're gonna spend on paint. It's like we, you know, we get up to 1500 units, we might start a painting arm, a painting division. But it's not made up of our maintenance techs who are then conflicted and have to do both. No, no, because I mean like you could have like, you could have an A location, but the property you could consider it like a C property in an A location. I would love to buy it, right? But then you got, that's, that's, that's like my mindset with it. I don't know if that's even the true thing. Like I see these brokers, but yeah, it's an A pro like, well, what does that really mean? I've seen like the, the freaking deal that I bought in the Northwest side of Milwaukee was a B deal. They said it was B like, oh no, no way. It was a D like, you know, so it's so, it's so opinionated. Um, you know, like obviously a, like a true A is pretty easy to see. Like, like you're getting the top, top rents. I mean, you, you know, when you see an A it's legit, like it's a crazy, legit. but then you get the B, yeah. C. I mean, it's kind of up to opinion, right? And so for me, I love the deals that are like a B or a C in an A location. So, you, you, you know, A, B location.